that a gun? No. I'm going to the roof, baby. Whoa, did she just leap at me? Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to DayZ Standalone. This is the alpha version that came out on Steam yesterday. Early access of the uh, highly anticipated standalone version of DayZ. The DayZ mod, which was originally created for Arma 2, I believe. And I had played quite a bit of that on my other channel, my Paul Soros Jr. channel. I shall be putting this up on uh, here on Polyon Tap as it is a mature title. And I just can't lose this woman. She, she's got the hots for me, clearly. I, I, let's go. I'll run through the field. We shall run through the hay fields together. Give us a hug. She doesn't like my flashlight in her face. Oh, I think I may have lost her. Let's put the flashlight away. I might be able to lose. I might be able to lose her here. I'm run. I was bleeding. She hit me. She bit me. She's a wild one, this one. And I'm bleeding. And I think I might be able to lose her. She's very slow. She's not the typical Daisy um, speedster Olympic class sprinter <laughs> like they had in the old Daisy mod. <laughs> so I think I can I think I can lose her. She's not doing the whole zigzaggy thing, so this is good. So so far so good. Liking what I've seen so far. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the um, some of the graphical, the, the user interface stuff, which has, hasn't seemed to change. What was that? Something just ran in front of me. Uh, it might have just been my breath. Which uh, seems to have um, kept a lot of the Arma 2 idiosyncrasies, I guess we could call them. There's a lot of keys to bind and some oddness controlling some things. So is she she's still is she is she on me or is that a different zombie? Eat Gads woman. I don't you're not my type. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so excited. If I can find a place to hide, I'd like to show you what I have in my inventory, which isn't a whole heck of a lot. I know I know it's really hard to see. Every server I've been on so far, this is about the sixth one I've tried, is in the middle of the night. I played last night for a few minutes just to kind of get my keys squared away and did some uh, some recording tests so that I could be prepared to start making some videos for you guys. And uh, every server I've been on has been like this in the pitch black. So what I might have to do is add in some... Oh, oh this is a barn. Barns might have guns. I can shoot this woman. It's one way to get her off my tail. My mouth feels dry. My mouth feels dry. Hold on. I am bleeding. See that? It's coming. I'm, oh, man. You're not one for this world. Manny. I think I'm Manny. Let's get inside. Yeah, it's a barn. So, again, uh, I know there is a daylight. I've seen some other footage. Very little bit of footage, however. And there was clearly some daylight. I will have to put in some post-editing lighting. So you guys can actually see what's going on here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Now, I wonder if you fall and break things, like legs. Um, is there no weapon up here? Not even a old farmer's rifle or shotgun? Hold on. I think I might have lost her. I want to drink something. You can now bring up your inventory with the tab. And uh, I'll go over all this in a minute. But what's nice about this is you can see stuff in the vicinity if there is anything nearby. But it has to be really close. It'll just show up right here, and then you can just drag and drop it. There's all draggy, droppy stuff in here, which is kind of nice. We have a hot bar now. You have uh, slots per. Um, you have these um, um, these clothing items will have pockets and things, so you can put stuff inside. They all have they're all containers, which is kind of cool. So there are some definite enhancements, but a lot of it has not changed. So, um, we'll learn, you know, what's what's working, what isn't over time together. But I will be playing a lot of this, I'm sure, on this channel. So, really looking forward to it. I'll be doing some solo stuff by myself, I should add. And I will be doing some uh, multiplayer with some friends. I think Pizzle, my buddy from... Uh, we had a series going before. Is that something I can grab? Let me switch into first-person mode. It's a little easier to pick stuff up and actually see things here in first-person mode. There's nothing here. I'm going to hit vicinity. Nothing. Again, vicinity is really 
kind of finicky. You have to be right on top. I fell once on a barn and broke a leg, and I had to crawl for miles to safety. I think I just fell again, didn't I? <laughs> no, no, no. Here we go. Okay. Darn, it's hard to see. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Sorry, lady. I'm spoken for. Is it just you again? Look at her shambling forward. That's great that they, they actually have shambling zombies and not just the speedy kind. Um, Gotta run, hun. Uh, Oh, man. Oh, that's not a good... No. Ow. Oh, wrong key. This is something I <laughs> have to get used to. It's the darn keys again. Uh, I can't tell if I'm standing or crouching. So many keys to bind. There's prone. There's go prone. There's squat. There's get up. There's vault. You can't even get over anything without vaulting. This is one of the things I was hoping that they would have modified. It's still kind of silly. Watch, I have to press a key to get over something. Now, how, how, oh, she's good at climbing, too. She's a climber. I'm a bleeder, apparently. There are a lot fewer zombies here, which is kind of, in a way, um, actually very nice. Um, I think, in my opinion. There's, there are plenty of zombies around. They're not nearly as sensitive as they were in Daisy Mod, where they come running from miles upon miles away when they see any slight movement or make, or if you make any sound at all, they're all over you. This one seems like right now the zombies are um, far fewer in number and not nearly as sensitive. I'm, I'm leaping right over those fences, which is kind of nice. Here's a tower. Get up here. Oh, yeah. If I get up... Can she climb? Can you climb, honey? Whoa. Whoa. Hold up, lady. What have I ever done to you? Now, ladders are always tricky. Eh, forget it. I'm just going to bleed out, most likely, anyway. Oh, you really have to maintain your body um, status. You've got to maintain your health. And the way to do that is you've got to eat, you've got to drink, you've got to stay warm. Oh, we're at an airport now? This might be, like, semi-military-ish? Maybe I can get a gun and just seriously just blow this woman away. She's still there. At least I'm not alone. I've got a friend. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. That's all I know. That you got a friend in me. There's nothing in here. It's been entirely looted, or maybe it just doesn't have anything. It's hard, excuse me, it's hard to see loot, however, in third-person mode. So let's do this. Let's go into first person. It's much more effective as a uh, a scary horror zombie survival game when you play in first person. Anyway, what is this then? Something floating in the air here. Oh, it's ammo. See, look at 300 rounds. Oh, I can't even carry it because I have no. S hey, hey, easy. Easy. So aggressive these days. Man, they skip first base. They go right for your face. My gosh. What happened to the old days when people would have a coffee and talk? See, I can't get it. Yikes. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, gosh darn keys. Got to learn my keys. You know what? Second thought, you ain't looking too bad right about now. Looking a little better, actually. All right, let me see. Yeah, all right. I like redhead. I like red hair. Why? Yikes. Oh, that's just my blood. Oh, huh. never mind. Sparks. Lady, if I get a gun, I will kill you. <laughs> She's persistent. I'll give her that. Let's see if I can lose her. Let's see if I can lose her. Let me crouch down. Hold up. Oh, oh, hi! Okay, that didn't fool anybody. So I'll be playing a bunch of this on my uh, on this channel again. I'll be doing a whole series. I like to start fresh. This character is just kind of mess around, see what's cooking. I'm most likely going to die. Is that a gun? No, I'm going on the roof, baby. Whoa, did she just leap at me? She leaped, leapt. Oh, gosh. Get a weapon. Oh, a backpack. Oh, yeah. 
got your number now, baby. Look at this red backpack. Turn off the light. I'm sticking out like a sore thumb up here, but... Did she give up? No! <laughs> I just got a backpack. Oh. She's finally going to get her quarry. She's been after me for a long time. I, I have been shrugging her off. She deserves me. She deserves me. Let's see if I get back up. Unconsciousness is a problem in Daisy. Once you go down, it's really hard to get back up when you're alone. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I'm still unconscious, so I'm going to hit escape, and we're just going to respawn. It will kill that character. There's nothing else I can do. I, I unless someone happens to uh, to come by, they find my unconscious body lying there on the ground, then they might actually try to help me. Or they just kill me and take my stuff, most likely. Or just take my stuff and leave me there to bleed out completely. So, so screw that. We're just going to um, start up a new character here. So watch what you can do. You can drop your your battery on there and whoops on the flashlight you can put it in your hot bar so now I have a flashlight in my hand and this shows that it's in my hand and I can bring it up with a host with I can bring it up with a key press here which you can run with it on the side like this at kinda of low like a low ready if you have a weapon you can point your weapon down so you're not intimidating to people because when you run into people in Daisy um, learning the body language is something that you have to uh, you're going to get a lesson in really quickly body language means a lot in this game particularly if you can't communicate through voice um, you can never really tell anyone's intentions until it's too late has been my experience in Daisy so body language is going to be very important in this game. And I know you can't really see much right now, but if I press F1, um, I saluted, I believe. F1 is salute. Darn it. I can't really see right now. We're going to have to wait till daytime. This is like sit down. So there are some emotes. There is a, uh, a way to salute someone. And that's kind of the, the universal, hey, I'm friendly, don't shoot, unless you have voice, and then you can just say it. Of course, you still have to trust that person to take their um, their claim to heart because they may just say, well, yeah, I'm friendly, and then shoot you in the back anyway. All right. Just running along the road here to, I believe, the north. I think that's the northern star right there. This looks like the Big Dipper, right? So that would make that the northern star. So this is the eastern coastline of Chinaris. And frankly, I don't really remember the towns on the eastern shore. I know Chinaris and Electro are down farther to the south, I believe. But we'll find out soon enough. And by the way, I just I remembered I had this, um, this key right here, which would have been very helpful to see a zombie woman chasing me down. You actually have like a free look in uh, third person mode. So, yep, got a few things to remember about the game, but um, it'll all come back to me slowly, I'm sure. Whoops. I might have to fiddle around with the keys just a tad to try to get them a little more comfortable for me. Looks like we have a structure here up ahead. Is that a light there in the distance? Here's my zoom key, which I need to get used to using once again. Looks like we may have a settlement here. Could be light. Well, let's get in closer. I think I'm going to crouch for this. And I'm going to die if I don't get some food and water in me. Well, let's just use the flashlight. That way we can at least see stuff. If it's bad, it's bad. Switching to first person mode. Uh oh, getting a server issue here. Oh, wrong key. Right, there we go. I did a little key switcheroo. What is this box up here? Let's stand up and see if I can get a proximity look. No. There's nothing in that box, really. There's nothing in the cupboard. 
closet. Man, it's really disorienting with this beam of light. It's so small. This looks like clothing. Let me show you. So I can just point to it and pick it up this way. Take blue shirt. Um, I have a green shirt. I'm not too interested in the shirt. However, if you do this, right click, you tear it into rags, you can make bandages. And that's how you can stop bleeding. What is this book? We have a book here. Metamorphosis. Can I read a book? This probably isn't the best time to read a book. What I would like is some sort of a weapon, perhaps? Food or water, even? Let's slow down a little. Oh, I keep using the wrong key. I'm so used to... I have E set up usually for use, but I've swapped it to F, which is the preset, which is fine. I'm trying to get used to that. Some sort of balcony here. What is this? It's like matches? Calendar, maybe? It's not a lot useful here. I don't want to turn that off. Open door. Well, how many doors are there? There we go. I guess I didn't go in this room yet, did I? Pillows? I think I can use pillows for anything. I think another bed. There's another book. Let's see if we get a vicinity. Here we go. Which is take the scar. It's the Scarlet Pimpernel. Pimpernel. I don't want the books unless I can tear them down and use them to light a fire or something. Maybe as kindling, but otherwise they're probably pretty useless. I'll just drop them on the floor. Good old Daisy. Looking for any little scrap that might help me survive. I've got my volume kind of low right now, so there might be somebody sneaking up on me. I would barely even hear them. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to use my thumb button. What is this? As my use key. It's a hat. Oh, that might come in handy. Keep my head warm. Oh, nice. Yeah, put that on. Oh, look at that. A little beanie. Yeah, my uh, my mouse has a mount, like a thumb button that I usually use for in some games as a melee strike, like Battlefield or Left 4 Dead. It's a nice quick punch or kick or whatever game it happens to be. And I don't think this game has anything like that, so I might just switch it to use. Take the cans. Take the canned beans. Now the problem with beans or anything in a can is you can't get to it without a can opener. Which clearly do not have because I have nothing as far as any utility goes. Okay, I think we're done here. Oh, turn that off. Right, that's too slow. Some more buildings up this way. All right, got my beanie, got my flashlight, got a can of beans. Using a flashlight out here in the middle of the night. Just stick out like a sore thumb. Let everybody know where you are. Now, in the old DayZ mod, there would be zombies all over me from everywhere doing this. There's nothing here, really? What was that?
That may have just been like an ambient sound. Sounded like somebody hitting a something hitting a barrel. I can't see a darn thing. Nothing. Not a thing. I think I see some buildings up ahead. Yes. All right. So again, I will be adding in some post. Uh, recording editing here. I'll make this brighter so you guys can see it. I can do that in my Adobe Premiere. So what you'll be looking at will be actually a lot brighter than what I'm looking at because this is really, to me, I can barely see a couple of feet ahead of me. Now I can see that white right there, but I can't make out what it is. It might be a body of water or a hill, maybe a snowy hill, tough to say. You can see that there's some grass here, but you guys will be able to see much more, I hope. I might even be passing by zombies. I could be walking by loot. I have no idea. I can't see anything. Normally when I played this game, when I did the... Uh I need to change this button too so I can look behind me. Um, I, uh, I didn't play at night very often. I didn't record at night very often. I just don't find it very fun, to be honest. Unless you have the right equipment, you have some kind of night vision, it's just not worth it. You know, unless you have a mission in mind that requires nighttime, if there's some stealth involved and you're attacking a, a, a group of people or something, then nighttime might come in handy. But typically, just playing the game, um, scavenging and searching around and that kind of thing, I just, I just do during the day. Right, this is farther than I thought. So if you can maintain your um, hydration, if you can maintain your energy, so if you eat and drink and your energy is nice and high, then you actually replenish health. Now, take this with a grain of salt. This is what I just read. I don't know if it's accurate or not. Now, let's go check this place out. Oh, jeez. Is that right there? Zeds don't usually spawn inside buildings. They never did. I don't think they do. But that guy sounds like he might be in here. Slow down a little. Of course I can't see anything without light. Oh, a cooking pot. Check it out. Oh, it takes up two slots. Or maybe even four. I need a backpack of some sort. Let's turn this on really quickly. Orange. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. It's getting agitated. Let's get over here. I'm gonna eat this on. Oh, this is a nice orange, too. Oh, it's fresh. Nice. Let's put that down here. I'm gonna switch to two. Uh, wait a minute. How do I. Oh, maybe. Maybe that doesn't work that way. Hmm, not interesting. I thought I could just switch it. I feel, f oh my gosh, I'm going to faint. Wait, zero remaining. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. It says zero remaining. That's no, 100%. There we go. Uh, it looks like a little minor bug, but, yeah, oh, it took a slice out. Mmm, delicious. I still feel lightheaded, though. Let's eat more. Oh, I ate the whole darn thing, didn't I? <laughs> now it's zero. My thirst is quenched, so foods will replenish some of your hydration as well. They'll hydrate you a bit as well, so that's pretty cool. What is this? A canned tuna, but I have no way of opening it. I really want that cooking pot. It's a floaty potato. This looks like a nice apple. Oh, darn. Well, the apple I can eat, at least. Can I open that? Oh, this has a, a pop top. Right. It's a pop top. That means I can eat it. That is sweet. I guess we got to get out of that view. Okay, let's eat it. 
Mm -mm. Look at that. So we'll get four uses out of this canned tuna. My hunger is now satisfied. Oh, that's great. Oh, gosh. Easy does it. Curious zombie outside. Still not sure what's going on. I don't think I've alerted him yet. He's sniffing about. He's pretty close. Oh, I should close this door. No, 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 no. Get closer. This, this is one of the things that kind of drive me crazy with this game. All right, now what button do I hit? There we go. Close that door. Whoosh. Too many buttons. That's kind of a legacy of uh, of armor. Oh, always look up on top of these things. Look at this. Shh. I have to stand up for this one. Maybe get if I get in the vicinity of it. Nope. Close it. Dang this chair here, my white. You can't jump in this game either. There's no leap. There's no jump. There's a vault. Can I vault? Nope. He gads. Now I'm all tired from vaulting. I can't get it. There's this darn chairs in the way. Stupid chair. Is it just a piece of clothing? I think it's just a shirt anyway, so whatever. It's not that useful. Let me get back into my crouch. Oh, look at this, a lantern. <laughs> oh my gosh, turn that off! <laughs> I know it said turn on, but I wanted to uh, see what it did. I thought maybe it would just put it in my... I thought maybe that was some kind of alpha thing where it would just put it in my pocket instead, but clearly it is the light that you turn on just lying there. Now, what can I take it? Yeah. It's portable. Holy... This guy's real close. Wait, didn't I drop that darn thing? Okay, we have a little bit of an issue here with that. I need a backpack. I can't carry anything. Darn it. That lamp is super bright. I'm not even sure you'd want the darn thing. It's so bright. Alright, that door doesn't seem to open. Alright, well... I think we're just going to call it quits for now. I'm going to hang out here in, in this building and call it a day or a night. And this will be a full episode, I think. Um, and keep an eye out on the channel for more. All right. Salute. 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 I think that's a salute. <laughs> All right. We'll see you. Bye. How did they sneak right through? Oh, I swear they crawled right through. Did you see that? I picked that up. Put that there. That's too bad. I wasted this piece. All right. Well, they're having trouble now, aren't they? Let's grab some more of this metal. No, 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 don't do that. Oh, hey. Oh, the window. The window. Okay. It was the window. That's where they came from. More light. More light's good. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Not good. Not good. Oh, get chubby. Ah. 